For although you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Nothing has taught me more about faith in the past couple years than preparing monthly lessons for our family faith formation worship and waffles. I've always loved deep diving into doctrine and scripture, seeking cultural understanding of the world Jesus lived in, hoping it would open the scriptures more to me. But what Christ tells us in today's gospel is that understanding isn't for the wise and learned. To really understand Jesus' teachings, you must rely on God, like a child fully relies on God, grown-ups and teachers, knowing that as of yet, they do not know, and so they are ready to listen and receive. In Robert McAfee's book, The Unexpected News, Reading the Bible with Third World Eyes, he shares a moving moment in Peru that taught him there was much that still hadn't been revealed to him. In Latin America, there are few Bible passages more widely used than Mary's song. It, is li it seems likely that Christians there have learned, heard the words more accurately than we have here, and that the best thing we can do is try to listen to what they hear. And so I will share an episode that can open up Mary's song in new ways. The mass is ended. With these words spoken in Spanish by the celebrant, several thousand worshipers get to their feet preparing to leave the assembly hall. They have been at a summer course in Lima, Peru, offered for people who want to see how theology and scripture and Catholic spirituality can be means for overcoming the poverty and oppression and injustice that characterize the villages in which, to which they will return. As they leave the hall, they start singing. And what are they singing? Mary's song. Those who have every reason to wonder whether God can any longer be called God of justice and power are singing, God has shown strength with God's arm. Those who have so often been victimized by arrogant rulers who show no regard for the poor are singing, God has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Those who have been threatened and imprisoned by leaders whose grip on power seems secure are singing, God has put down the mighty from their thrones. Those who have seen their families ground down and destroyed with no apparent hope of ever rising again are singing, God has exalted those of low degree. Those who worry about food for themselves and their children are singing, God has filled the hungry with good things. Those from whom the rich take more and more, whether legally or illegally, are singing. And the rich, God sent away empty. They are singing of a new order, a new world in which expectations have been turned around. Today, let's ask ourselves, can we listen to these prayers that we recite every day and really have the expectation of his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Stop. 